I'm a lot like you, a fellow beekeeper who just wants more bees. I love my hobby, I love my bees, I especially love my own honey. And I have ideas of wanting to expand my out yard, add a few more hives or a few dozen more hives, make a little more honey so I can make a little more cash flow. Does any of this sound familiar? But the rub is buying bees is expensive. You've got to go source your bees, you've got to pay for the bees, you've got to pick the bees up, you've got to install the bees, and sometimes you have disaster. You install a package of bees and they go abscond, abscond on you. Just money down the drain. I've also tried chasing down swarm calls. Uh, I got myself on a swarm list, I went and I'd get false calls, I'd get missed calls, I'd get no calls. Um, to be fair, I did catch a few swarms. You bring those home and you can have tragedy strike. The swarm that I installed yesterday might abscond today. And I don't know about you, but I take that kind of personal. And at the end of the year, when I added up all the swarms I got and I kept, and I put in my time, my effort, my gas money, my travel costs, my free bees weren't so free. They kind of were discounted bees. But I've found a solution. I have found a way to achieve my goals of increasing my stocks in my out yard. It's called swarm trapping. Bees come to your swarm trap and install themselves. Then you take them out of the swarm trap and put them in your own hive. It's really easy and it's fun. Basically, a swarm trap is a box with a hole in it. It lets the bees install themselves. They're looking for a cavity, you gave them the perfect cavity, they install themselves, and they're not going to abscond. Now there's a whole lot more to it, like when and where to put out your swarm traps, how to deal with sun, how to deal with uh, light, how to deal uh, what not to do and what to do, and how to transfer them to your hive. There's a lot more to it even beyond that, but I cover all that in the book, so don't worry. Now I have spent a lot of time researching swarm trapping, and I spent several years experimenting. And old timers used to use swarm traps and bait hives to catch their free bees. But some modern advances in our understanding of bee swarm behavior has now made a revolution in swarm trapping. And I mean it doubled to almost tripled the occupancy rate of a swarm trap versus days of old. Now I cover this and the research done by Dr. Seeley and other researchers and I put it and applied it in the book so you don't have to look at theory and wonder how to use it. It's already been done in the swarm trapping design and in the swarm trapping program. I've had wonderful success in recent years, both in good years and in the terrible drought year we had last year. And I caught bees in all years. Swarm trapping works. It works for me, it'll work for you. It's almost a sport in and of itself. I mean, it's like fishing. It's fun. You got to try it. It's wonderful and you'll get free bees out of it. So if you want to catch bees for free, this is the book for you. Below there is a link to the ebook digital version if you want it right now, and over here should be a link to the uh, paper version. The book's about 55 pages, full of instructions, lots of information, lots of background, uh, a citation of the research stuff if you want to go look that up, and. Uh,